Hey there, wishlisters. Welcome back to another video. I'm John Morris with Wishlist Products, and today I'm going to be showing you the top eight must-have WordPress plugins for membership sites and online courses. And specifically, this is my personal list of the plugins that I always install on the hundreds of membership sites that I've built over the years. So with that said, let's jump in. Now, number one, of course, is your membership platform. This is the plugin that's going to do all the membership grunt work for you. Things like protecting your posts and pages, connecting with your payment provider, adding members to your mailing list, adding, moving, and remo removing members from membership levels, really all the stuff that you need to actually have a membership site. Now, of course, I'm biased, but I think Wishlist Member is far and away the best plugin to do this, but let me run through a few criteria you should look at when picking a membership plugin. And the first one is stability, because your entire membership business will be based on this plugin. So you want to go with something that's been around, is stable, and has a team of developers working on it, not just one or two people building it as a side project. The second thing is it needs to be capable, because in terms of your membership platform, the more capability it has, it almost leads directly to potential revenue, because you're actually able to implement all of the marketing ideas that you have without having to hire a team of developers to do it. And of course, the last thing is it needs to be easy to use because if it, you can't use it, then the rest of it doesn't matter. Now, of course, as I said, my biased self thinks that Wishlist Member meets all those criteria the best, but that's up to you to decide. That said, if you would like to learn more about Wishlist Member, just go to wishlistmember.com and you can do that. Next, you need a page builder. Now, technically, you don't need it, but it will make your life about a thousand times easier. Page builders like Elementor, Divi, and Beaver Builder let you build your WordPress pages using a simple drag and drop interface, no coding required. Now, WordPress's built-in page editor, Gutenberg, has gotten a lot more capable, but these build builders still really blow it out of the water, and they only keep getting better. Now, Elementor is what I use because I find it just fits my style the best, but they're all very capable. One thing, if you do go the Elementor route, I strongly recommend investing in Elementor Pro as well because the pro version adds a whole bunch of functionality that will make your site building life much easier. And I'll drop, drop links for all these plugins in the description as well. All right, next up is a learning management system or LMS. This is specifically for online, online courses. So if you're running a regular monthly membership, you might not need this. But these kinds of plugins let you quickly build modular courses without having to hack into WordPress or use pages in some complicated way. They do it all for you, including progress tracking, quizzes, certificates, and all the bells and whistles you'd expect from an online course software. One of the big mistakes I see people make here, though, is they assume they need only an LMS when building an online course or library. And you can sort of get away with that, but you're going to limit yourself. And that's because LMS software focuses on the course building part, as it should, and it adds some fun functionality for accepting payments and protecting content, but nowhere near what a membership platform will give you. So if you want to build a fully capable online course library, you want both an LMS and a membership platform. And of course, you'll want one that integrates tightly with all of the popular WordPress LMS plugins like Wishlist Member does. Now, as for which one, I use Tutor LMS mainly because I like the course building module. I find it's the easiest for me to use and it fits my style the best. Next up is WordFence, which is a security plugin for WordPress. Now, as far as what it does, I think their website says it best. WordFence includes an endpoint firewall and malware scanner that were built from the ground up to protect WordPress specifically. And their threat defense feed arms WordFence with the newest firewall rules, malware signatures, and malicious, malicious IP addresses it needs to keep your website safe. It also ties directly into their cleanup service where their security experts will clean up your site if you do get hacked. And also tends to be, the company itself tends to be at the forefront of identifying and helping patch WordPress vulnerabilities. So in many cases, if you have WordPress installed, they'll add in a fix to a vulnerability uh, before the plugin author that that vulnerability exists in fixes it on their side. So you're protected all the way across. And a lot of that comes in the free version. Not all of it, but a lot of it. So it is, in my opinion, the best plugin to protect your site and give you peace of mind. Okay. Now let's talk about speed. You probably know this by now, but page load speed has become critically important for all websites. But imagine you joined a membership site specifically. You're paying a monthly fee to access the content, and every time you go to log in, the pages load agonizingly slow. People just won't put up with that today. 
Now that said, the WordPress speed slash caching segment doesn't exactly have a great track record. A lot of plugins with a bunch of confusing options that you may have uh, no idea how to set and they may or not may not work for a particular site. And I'll be honest, in my nearly 17 years of building WordPress websites, I've tried nearly all of them with limited success until I find Nitro Pack. Now, full disclosure, Nitro Pack is a service, so you do pay a monthly fee for it, and it's a connector plugin that connects to your WordPress site. But man, it just works. Every site that I've installed it on so far, it's pushed the Google Sp Page Speed Insight score for those websites to 90 plus, which if you don't know, that's like trying to squeeze a whale through the eye of a needle when it comes to WordPress websites, especially ones running LMS and membership software. And of course, the pages themselves load blazingly fast. So for me, this service has been worth every single penny that I've spent on it. Number six is the custom CSS and JS plugin. And this is where we get to get a little nerdy, but this plugin is probably the forgotten son on this list because it's not nearly as popular as the others, but I personally swear by it. And what it does is it's really simple. It lets you add HTML, CSS, and JavaScript code to your WordPress site without editing your theme files. In fact, adding a snippet of code is much like creating a new post in WordPress when you use this plugin. It's perfect for things like Facebook's tracking pixel or Google Tag Manager code, all the little snippets that there exist out there today. You can add those to your site instead of hacking your theme or installing 17 different plugins for each snippet. You can use this one plugin and it's as simple as copy and paste. And, and if you change or update your theme, you don't lose your tracking code because it's in the plugin, not in a theme file that just got overridden. So yes, it's a small, maybe not as popular plugin, but it's very handy. And it's one of the first three plugins I install on every website that I build. Number seven is Yoast Duplicate Post. Again, another simple but handy plugin, and it does exactly what it says. It lets you click on a button and duplicate an existing post. Now that might sound trivial, but oftentimes in a membership site, you format your posts in a particular way with specific settings for certain types of content and so on. So this plugin will save you a bunch of time having to reset all those set settings. Instead, you just duplicate a post and only change the things that need to change. And if you're offering multiple silos of content in your membership site, like we recommend, that alone will save you loads of time. Now, there are lots of plugins that do this, but this one comes from Yoast, which is a well-established company in the WordPress ecosystem. So if I'm gonna use a plugin to duplicate posts and they've got one, I'm gonna use theirs. Finally, number eight is Jetpack Stats. Now, of course, I know some people hate Jetpack because it's a massive plugin with tons of different settings and modules, but they've done a good job of making most of those settings optional. So you only have to turn on what you wanna use and Jetpack Stats is maybe the best feature. I prefer it to hooking my site up to Google, Google Analytics because frankly, analytics is overkill and I don't understand half of it anyway. And in a membership site, what I really want is to know what courses, posts, content, etc., is getting visited and viewed the most. And that's exactly what Jet, Jetpack Stats gives me in a UI I can actually understand. And so that's it. Those are the eight plugins that I personally install on every membership site that I build. Now you might not need them all, or you may choose a different option for certain categories, but you wanna make sure you have something for each of these seven categories below. So the first one is your membership platform, obviously. A page builder. If you're doing an online course, you want an LMS, security plugin, site speed, visitor stats, and then of course the utility plugins that I mentioned. If you have something for each one of those, that'll cover your bases and ensure you have a stable platform to build and grow your online business. Now that said, if you liked the video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you'd like to learn more about our membership platform, Wishlist Member, you can do so at wishlistmember.com. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.